So here's where the storyline kind of gets confusing. According to Sega, Sonic 4 happens directly after Sonic 3 and Knuckles. But Sonic CD was never given a proper point in the timeline, and also takes place before Sonic 4. So what I figured is that Sonic CD happens right after Sonic 3 and Knuckles. But apparently, other people don't think that. But you know what? I'm the narrator, and I get to use poetic license. So I'm gonna. Sega. This is Sonic the Hitch. Whoa, 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 no it's not! <laughs> I finally completed my Sonic robot, and with it, I- Alright, let's not get too ahead of ourselves, Eggman. W wait, that's robot- Sonic was relaxing after defeating Eggman one day, and, lo and behold, decided it was time for a vacation. Man, do I work hard. Hmm, I wonder if Tails wants to go on vacation with me. So, Sonic called up his buddy Tails, who was at a plane convention. That's inconvenient. Ah. What am I gonna do now? Suddenly, fate struck Sonic in the face. Gah! Literally. Stupid newspaper. Huh? Ooh. The newspaper told of a mysterious miniature planet called the Little Planet that would appear over Never Lake that month. Both a place of beauty and wonder, it is said that time moves freely on the planet and its entire sceneries can change in a blink of an eye. All right, I'm convinced. So Sonic sped his way to Never Lake to see the mysterious little planet, and found something strange when he got there. This is nothing like the newspaper picture. Huh? Eggman! Seeing the planet in a metallic shell and chains, Sonic raced on to the planet to see what was up. This place doesn't seem too Eggman infested. Uh, what wow, the? Sonic, I can't believe you're here. Meet Amy Rose, Sonic's biggest fan and self-proclaimed girlfriend. Amy often plays with tarot cards in a way to predict the future. The tarot cards told me you were going to be here, and now you're here, and I'm just so excited. And Look, Amy, right? Sonic! Let's play a game of hide-and-seek. All right, close your eyes and count to, uh, a thousand, and come find me. All right? Anything for you, Sonic. Okay, see you later. One, two, three. After a bit more exploring, Sonic discovered something. Huh? What the? By reaching top speed, Sonic traveled into the future, and it wasn't a pretty one. I knew that Creek Eggman was up to no good again. From the looks of things, he hasn't gone too far. By using his detective skills of running straight forward, Sonic found Dr. Eggman. That's Robot! Oh, Sonic! <laughs> Glad to see you've made it. Spill the beans, Doc. What are you up to? Seeing as how you always get so mad at me for trying to take over your planet, I thought I'd take over a smaller one. This one. <laughs> and it's been all too easy thanks to the Time Stones. Time Stones? The Time Stones are the miracle gems of Little Planet. It is said whoever possesses these gems will be able to freely move through time just as Little Planet does. So setting my robots up in the past has made it the perfect opportunity to create a new future. A Robotnik future. <laughs> You're mad, Eggman. That's Robotnik. I will stop you and destroy all your machines. But I have a new power source for the machines. They're made with flowers now. You still mad about the flowers? Yeah, I'm mad about the flowers. Oh, well. I'm gonna be honest, this machine is not equipped for fighting yet. Sonic then span through probably the weakest Eggman machine Sonic? yet. Ah! This isn't over, Sonic. I still have the time stones, and soon we'll face an invention much greater than this one. <laughs> Happy demise, Sonic! So Sonic saved the little planet plant life in the palm tree panic zone, and continued on to the next area, where he ran into none other than... You, Sonic? Amy, what the? How did you find me? Aw, oh, Sonic, I'll always find you. Amy, it's dangerous here. Stay where you are. 
Whatever you say, darling. So Amy stood still, making herself a perfect target. Oh, great. Now what? Huh? Enter Metal Sonic, Dr. Eggman's ultimate creation. His abilities match Sonic's, and he can reach Sonic's top speed in an instant. Hello again, Sonic. Long time no see. I'm glad to see that you brought your girlfriend with you on a date. She's not my girl. Now, my ultimate creation, Metal Sonic, will escort her to the Stardust Speedway Zone. There, Metal Sonic will be waiting to challenge you and ultimately destroy you. My, my, Sonic, it looks like you have a lot on your plate now. <laughs> Stop me if you can! Now Sonic must not only stop Dr. Eggman and grab the Time Stones before he does, but save Amy Rose from the clutches of his metallic doppelganger. No problem, Sonic. With a little courage, you can do anything. What? Why did you say that? And so Sonic continued on, traveling through time, collecting the Time Stones, saving the plant life, and making sure Eggman's future didn't happen. Sonic eventually reached the Stardust Speedway Zone, and found Metal Sonic waiting for him in the future. Hey Metal Me, how's it going? Long time no see, huh? Oh, and by the way, the finger wag thing? It goes like this. So how we doing this, fist fight or...? Quite the contrary, Sonic. You and Metal are actually going to race. <laughs> Your stupid robot, race me, the fastest thing alive. <laughs> what a joke, Doc. Are you kidding? Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Just try not to fall behind. All right, on your marks. I hope you're hungry, Metal Sonic, because you're about to eat all sorts of dust. Oh! oh, so you're not just an average Joe Slow Badnik. Huh, then this should be fun. So Sonic and Metal Sonic race through the Stardust Speedway Zone, <laughs> with Dr. Eggman destroying the path behind them. <laughs> Me, Green, and the winner is me! Whew. Can you imagine if that thing came down on me? Man, that would have sucked. <laughs> Looks like you failed again, Eggman. That's your ball. Oh, oh Metal Sonic. Ah, this isn't the end, Codet. Get back here. Oh, I forgot about you. Aw, oh, Sonic. I knew you'd save me. I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! I Sonic knew tells it. Amy to stay put it, and advances on to Eggman's fortress. After avoiding quite a few traps, Sonic reaches his final confrontation with Eggman. That's Robotnik. And well done on maneuvering through the traps, Sonic. But this time, you've reached the end. I'm going to destroy you and recreate my future utopia. Yeah, right. I'd like to see you try. So Sonic and Eggman have another climactic battle, then Sonic wins, again. I didn't even have to use the emeralds to beat you this time, Doc. End of the line. Oh, it was all so perfect. Of course, classic exploding base right on cue. Sonic! Sonic, help me, Sonic! What the- Amy, what are you doing here? I told you to stay put! Sonic nabs Amy, and the two of them escape the exploding base and head back down to oh, Earth. Sonic, thank you for saving me. I love you so much. Will you marry me? No! Sonic stands at the edge of Never Lake, watches Little Planet become unchained to Earth, and return to its original state. <laughs> Little does Sonic know that I still have a time stone. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that? Sonic CD was the first Sonic game to feature fully animated cutscenes, and the only Sonic game to have two split soundtracks for different regions. Sonic CD was also the first game where Sonic had a speaking voice, and according to an unknown magazine, he was voiced by Kiko Otoku, the Japanese female pop star responsible for the vocals on Cosmic Eternity and You Can Do Anything, the two Japanese theme songs to Sonic CD. Sonic sneezes at one point during the opening animation to Sonic CD. There are also unused sprites of Sonic sneezing hidden in the game. While in development of the 2011 remake of Sonic CD, Christian Whitehead originally planned to add one new zone, Desert Dazzle, and a new final boss, Final Fever, to the game, but ended up scrapping them. Now you know! And so Sonic's heroics continued. If ever there was someone in need, Sonic would be there. If ever the Chaos Emeralds fell into the wrong hands, Sonic would be there to restore balance. 
If ever there was a vacation for Sonic to have, Eggman would be standing by to ruin That's it. Bruh, what does it matter? Along his new adventures, Sonic met some new friends. And made some new enemies as well. But he never lost sight of his old friends, including Knuckles, who had some adventures of his own as well, including the formation of the Team Chaotix. That's not to say that he wasn't still gullible, but it would always end up okay in the end. As for Tails, he stuck by his best buddy Sonic and helped him out whenever needed. Although he never did quite hit puberty. Eggman would go on to build several new space stations and stupid machines that never work. There were also several attempts in recreating Metal Sonic, but the specifications never met the original. Until one day... I'm out of here!